Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! Since last time, I equipped bubble belts on everyone, got everyone buffed up and ready to go. Uh, I've also got, I changed my foe lowest HP attacking gambit to foe highest max HP attack. And, uh, well, you'll see why. I'll explain that when we get to that part. But, uh, for right now, last, what do they call these things? Waystones? I forget, they call these things different things in different games. But so this is the Sun Crist. One gigantic spider web you got there. Yeah, you gotta hold the thing in place somehow. Keep people from getting to it. King Wraithwall stood here. With this sword he cut the Sun Crist and took its power in his hand. So let's do it! But you're going to use the sword to destroy the Sun Crist. Aren't you, Ash? Aren't you? Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. Ah, uh, isn't that cute? They're still saying that after all this time. That's supposed to be like a, a running gag or something? Why did you do that? Like, how did she know to do that? Whoa, is that something the Akuria told her? Or, uh, whoa! There's all that mist. That, uh, that doesn't look good to me. Kinda looks like a Lunar Cry sort of thing, releasing monsters or something with the mist. Wouldn't be the first time that's happened. That is some weird colored mist. Oh, we've seen it before, I suppose. How did you get that sword back? I'm surprised you can hold that thing one-handed. That thing's big. Lord Rasla. Oh, now everyone can see him. You want revenge? You would have me use the stone? Well, yeah, that's what we do in Final Fantasy games. What did you expect? You would have me destroy the Empire? Is this my duty? Is this what you want? I cannot. Why do you hesitate? Show no mercy. Take what is yours. The Chris is a blade. It was meant for you. Wield it. Avenge your father. How did you get here? But of course, as with all JRPGs, yes. the bad guys can get there before we do. Face, who cut down the life of Delmasca. Lady Ash, your father's murderer is here. Be angry at me. I slew your king. I slew your country. Do these deeds not demand vengeance? Got the dual-bladed lightsaber. Or whatever that thing's called. Yes. Good. Find your wrath. Take up your sword. Fight. And serve those who died before you. Oh. Ah, oh, thanks. Where did Bond go? A judge magister there was. Two years passed. He took in his hand the midlight shard, stolen from Nabratia, and used it not knowing what he did. And Nabudis was blown away. Sid ordered this of him, to learn the Nethosite's true power. That man swore never to let such terrible power be used again. He forsook his Judas's plate and his name. How would you know all that? Judge Zekt. What the? Another one? It's been too long, Gabranth. Reach out your hand, Lady Ash. But remember, that which you must grasp is something beyond revenge. Something greater than despair. Something beyond our reach. Try as we might, Gabranth. History's chains bind us too tightly. <laughs> oh. I do like that Gabranth can kick his ass. No, we cannot escape the past. This man is living proof. What is your past, daughter of Damasca? Did you not swear revenge? Do the dead not demand it? Well, they're, they're kind of dead. They can't really ask us of anything. But, uh, no, well, yeah, I suppose he is kind of there.
Well, you gotta take revenge. Come on. Get the nuclear bomb. Let's go. Why not? It is kind of a small cr crystal, though. Why not just take the whole thing? Rassler. My prince. Our time was short. Yet I know this. You are not the kind to take base revenge! <sighs> the Rassler I knew is gone. Well, yeah, he did kind of die. So. Oh. You are our saint, Tashelia Banagan. What the? You must use the Nephysite. You must be the one to straighten history's weave. I am no false saint for you to use. It was them all along. All these Gosh. ghost images and everything. In all Damascus' long history, not once did we rely on the Dusk Shard. Our people resolved never to use it, though their need might be dire. I that thought you didn't know anything the about I wanted back. the Nephysite or anything. To use the stone now would be to betray that. Well, they're all kind of dead. I will destroy the sun, Christ. I will discard the stone. You claim no need of power? What of your broken kingdom's shame? The dead demand justice! You're wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> what would change? I can't help my brother now. My brother's gone. He's dead. Thanks to you. Even with power, we cannot change what is past. What is done, is done. Here, you take the empty nuclear bomb. No good to us, or you. Yet without power, what future can you claim? What good a kingdom you cannot defend? Then I will defend Queen true. and Kingdom both. You didn't do so well the last time. Ha! Defend! You! You who failed Landis and Almaska! What can shame hope to keep safe? Your shield is shattered! Your oaths poison those you would protect! For boss time! Against Judge Gabrant himself! Okay, so we got all our buffs and everything ready to go. First things first. Let's uh, dispel his haste there. I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, so you got protect right after I dispel. Well, let's dispel him again. Hear me, boss. Do not think killing the Kingslayer will win you back your honor. With who? When you abandon home and kin, your name was forever stained with blood. I think he's talking about Landis, not uh, Damasca, Although that can be. Well, yeah, he's immune to. Oh, well, he was immune to magic right now. That's why I didn't uh, dispel him. So, uh, but yeah, pretty easy. Uh, I'm probably slightly over level for this part, but even then, I got the zodiac spear. So you too would leave your debts unpaid. Enough of this. I can bear no more. How did you get here? You disappoint me, Gabranth. Why couldn't we just go straight to the top? When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him as sword or shield, and so I release you from that service. Your presence is neither required nor welcome. Well, she was gonna take revenge. Gabranth! <laughs> <laughs> I like the look on Sid's face, like, ha ah! ha! Ow. You are only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. 
By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. With our own nuclear bombs. Damascus freedom for your nethocyte? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. Oh, <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you brought us here? How did you get back there so but, fast? My lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone. Finish this for now. I just love how over the top he is. Now, I'm guessing, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing those three little balls of light are the three pieces of Nephysite, the day affected Nephysite, the midlight shard, the dawn shard, and the dust shard. At least that's what I heard. Shards of Nephysite, cocoon of the sun crest, spill forth your mist upon this evil east. Let's see it sky be a wash in it that Bahamut may come and drink his fill. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. So, I'm not entirely sure what's happening, but I think he's, like, reintegrating those three pieces of Nephysite back into the Sun Crisp, and it's causing all this mist to spill forth, or something like that. I don't know. That's my interpretation. Sit back the shadow of a Curian design. Testament that man's history shall be his alone. You made your Nethersite for this. You mimic the Acuria Stone for what? To become a god yourself? Well, it is a Final Are Fantasy game. shoulders better to stand than those of the would-be gods? Ah, oh, such high hopes I once had, but you ran and ran and they with you. Alas, the hour of your return is late. Come, Famron, revel in the glory of my triumph! For boss time! By the way, uh, Famron is Balthier's real name. Remember uh, Jules mentioned that earlier? So... First things first, let's dispel Sid. Still got Berserk going, so that'll help us out. Behold the manufactured Nethersite, the fruit of our power and knowledge. See what the Stone of Man is capable of. Witness its power with your own eyes. Turn free it to me! <laughs> uh, such over the top voice acting. I love it. How bad could it possibly be? And he's got an Esper of his own. So anyway, uh, now Sid, well you'll see in a moment. Uh, okay, I'll just tell you, Sid is invincible right now. Or he's going to be, there you go. He's immune to magic and physical attacks because of Famfred. So what we gotta do is we gotta kill Famfred. This is why I have those faux highest max HP attack gambits because that'll allow us to target Famfred automatically instead of Sid, who's invincible at this point. You can't even dispel Sid. Although it would be a good idea to dispel Famfred whenever he gets Sid gets uh, attacked on him. Maybe I should dispel Ball Fear and get rid of that Berserk. Now well, we've almost got the guy anyway. What is that? That didn't do much. Oh, that was Waturja. But, uh, yeah, we might want to get rid of, uh, Silence on everyone. Just be quick about it. And, let's see, good Kiraja. Oh, Redis is still silenced. Huh. Yeah, I suppose I could cure that, but, uh, he's never gonna cast any spells anyway. So, I'm not worried. And he's got the tech, but we almost got the guy anyway. Yeah! Got him. There we go. What is that thing you're holding there anyway? What, like an urn or something? I don't know. But anyway, okay, so now Sid should be vulnerable, and uh, yeah, let's cure that silence. But it's bothering me. Okay, there we go. Now the palings have fallen. So, uh, spell him, and there we go. And now he brings out his big gun. Oh, way to blow your load. 
Okay, let's see a good Jiraja to do. Dispel his buffs, and the rest should be relatively easy, even without Berserk. Maybe I should have gone without it just to make the fights last slightly longer. Yeah! Alright! Yeah, I figured, well, we got a lot of cutscenes today, so let's just kind of get through the boss fights as quickly as we can. Too bad for Sid. Wish he would have gotten more screen time in the game. I mean, I think, like, if you take all the cutscenes he had in the game, it's, like, barely over ten minutes. And it's, like, nothing for, like, my favorite character in the game, or one of my favorites. Gotta be in the top three. Just so over the top. Of course, all the judges were like that, too. I mean, heck, even Balthier and, uh, Zach a little bit. They all had good voice acting. Let him buy Fena. It is done. Ah, uh, how I have enjoyed these six years. The pleasure was all mine. So, what are you going to do now? You got him. Was in no other way. Huh. Spend your pity elsewhere. If you are so set on running, hadn't you best be off, fool of a pirate? Now, from what I heard, the reason this happens to Sid, you see he's just fading away into mist, I heard that it happens due to overexposure to manufactured methicides or something. I don't know why they only that only happens when you die. But, whatever. So, yeah, he Friend? turned into mist. Or something. So, he's gone. And he dies. To bursting, it beats. The cocoon. Oh, yeah. He's spilling all that mist, like, <sighs> everywhere. Oh, I suppose that's what Nephysite does. The sun crest bursts. You must run as far as you can. How big could the explosion pass? Easy, Fred. Hadn't you best be off? That's what a sky pirate does. You fly, don't you? No, we walk everywhere we go. Sky pirate is just a euphemism. I suppose you'd better hang on then. Big fingernails you got there, Fran. Ash, the sword. We had to stop it. Uh, we can't get closer. If only either of us weighed more than ninety pounds. If only we had someone in our party who weighed more than we do. <laughs> get it anywhere. You must quit this place. It's reacting. I've not seen its like before. Nay, never this large. Never such threat impendent. For Nabodis. Redis. Redis, no! I, Judge Magister, condemn you to oblivion! You might be okay. Well, no, probably not now. I just love that line. Condemn you to oblivion! <laughs> well, gotta be over the top sometime. Well, blew the roof off of that place. How we got out of there and back onto our airship, I don't know. But, whatever. Maybe remote control? That's... Brothers. 
I'll be honest, that gets me a little emotional, but eh, not too much. Oh well. This game can be emotional when it wants to be. Insert disc three. I mean, uh, let's just, uh, skip this. Yeah, we don't need to say it, but. Nah. Now it's not over yet, viewers. How would they know about? Uh, I guess we're back already. Uh, he didn't want a nuclear bomb to be set off here. Well, he did his job. <laughs> He must get a nice view from that mansion. Yeah, what do we do next anyway? What guest? Oh, you just let them walk in? He didn't let us walk in whenever we wanted to. He said it was off limits. Al Cid? Hey, hey! We let ourselves inside. The situation is one demanding some haste, you understand? Well, we lost Cid. Where we were? So now we gotta have Al Cid. My little birds, they tell me many, many things. My lady, the war begins now. Then you were unsuccessful in stopping the Rosarian fleet? I use a variety of methods. What kind of methods? According to Don't plan, answer that, Sirius. It came time to request withdrawal of our most devoted generals. In their enthusiasm for war, our great military leaders went behind my back straight to Marquis Sandor's resistance. The resistance? During training, a division of the resistance ignored their orders and disappeared. They were next found exchanging broadsides with the Imperials over old Nabradia. Why would they go there? They were asking to be found. You misunderstand. Those ships must surely belong to Rosarian Division. They may have joined Ondor's resistance forces as patriots or even mercenaries, but in reality they are regulars of the Rosarian army under direct command of our war pavilion. This fifth column has invaded Imperial airspace and provoked a response. Unable to abandon them, His Excellency the Marquis was obliged to give his main fleet the order to attack. And the battleground is Dalmasca. I wonder what they call it now that it's no longer Dalmasca. Should this fight drag on, Rosaria will enter the fray. The defense of Dalmasca is their excuse, and we will have a war between empires. Well, they could have defended us when it actually mattered. Time waiting to strike until the Empire has spent itself against the Marquis, but then he will crush them and the Marquis both between his hands. Vane holds the Dusk Shard no longer. His advantage is lost. Vane has advantages enough. He stands on higher grounds, and my birds tell me he has awoken something quite large. How big could it possibly be? Um, Lord of the Sky. Nice. There was a stirring in the mist, in the direction of Ridorana, I am told. Bahamut awoke soon after this. Yeah. It is the mist that came before the Christ was undone. It breathed life into this Bahamut. If what, they did this off screen? Did, how much more mist might it have drunk? Yeah, pretty much. All went according to Dr. Sid's designs. Yes, the man's last great It's kind of like Chrono Cross. Yeah. Imagine if, like, the forming of the Terra so Tower me to put an end to the thing. just uh, happened off screen. It's like, oh, yeah, there's another dungeon you gotta go to. Himself. So, he yeah, comes pretty to much. Rabanaster. Then I will defend Dalmaska and stop this Bahamut. This is my charge. With That's what? Our charge, actually. 
We're on the payroll too. It belongs to us all. Besides, what other losers are you gonna take along with you? And my charge is to hinder and delay this Rosarian invasion for as long as is possible. I will do what I can. Uh, yes. When this unpleasantness is done, you must come to Rosaria. I will take you to the Amber Vale of Clan Margrace. Such things I will show you. Until then, I will be waiting. With my shades and my, uh, assistant. I wonder what she assists him with. Don't answer that, dudes. Okay, so... Now that we're done with the Pharaohs, we've got a lot of shopping to do. I'm going to list it all in the video description, because it's not just in Balfenheim where we can do shopping. There's stuff all shops all over the world that have new stuff, uh, particularly new spells that we can get. So I'm going to take care of that off screen. I'll list my setup in the video description. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, uh, Bahamut is a sky fortress. Uh, it's not like the giant dragon or an idolin or an Esper or whatever. No, it's just a really, really big airship thing, whatever. But should we do more side quests or actually get around to saving the world? No, no, we're not going to do side quests. I'm actually going to continue on to the Sky Fortress Bahamut next time on the finale of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. I'll do the side quests later. Not right now.